here today. I want to show you a funnel I'm working on for a client uh, for a me Facebook Messenger chat bot, and it's a casual restaurant. Um, you can stay, you can dine in, but you order from the counter. Uh, and we'll talk about this. Isn't necessarily the whole logic. Uh, I still, I still have to implement that, but I want to talk about the basic funnel of what goes in and what goes out. So there's essentially three main sources of traffic, or really two. Um, what comes from Facebook, whether that's organic or through uh, Facebook ads, and also a web plugin to get them to the Facebook Messenger sequence. So everything you want to aim towards this. Now, since this is brick and mortar, at any time, people could abandon the funnel or wh whatever the situation is and still show up to the restaurant. And the thing is, you're not going to have 100% attribution on it. However, here, there are, there are uh, three, three call to actions on the, out, on the outside of this uh, that you can track and measure. In fact, you can measure each interaction with the chatbot to see where exactly people are dropping off. And the only real way to calculate ROI on some of these things is to look at the balance sheet um, as opposed to the analytics for these types of businesses. A lot, some, they can be pretty accurate though. Uh, so once that goes into the messenger sequence, there's multiple things that may have questions about random questions. Hey, you know, do I need a reservation, uh, dietary restrictions? Um, and may, the main thing is we want them to look at the menu, see what we have. And there, there's one of two things that we want them to do out of that we want them to place an order for to go um, or pick up and that's that's done through another third-party ordering system uh, that we just have to link them to and then the second option is if they want delivery well this re particular restaurant doesn't do delivery so we send them to a third-party uh, delivery app and if there's I think there's a way to deep link direct defer deep link directly to the restaurant page in this, they might have it so that it asks for the user's location first. So I don't know exactly how they would work because we don't want them dropping off, getting distracted with other restaurants once we send them to this third party, these third party apps. And what deep linking is, it's like a website. Um, it happens all the time. So you have Clemens.io, that's my homepage. Then you want to go to specific blog posts, you go to Clemens.io slash the sales stack. Well, it's you can do that in mobile apps and what a deferred so you would go to a specific page within there and what you can do is if they don't have one of these three apps you can defer it so it takes them to the login page by detecting whether they're android or ios takes them to the respective app store and then it will after they download that app it'll go to a specific page within that app in which case it would it'd be for this restaurant so um, I'll let, I'll keep you guys posted as I as I develop the logic and maybe run some campaigns as to how things go. Thanks.